Okay, um, I'm getting there. It's very, very hard for me. But there's only a little bit of branches left. There's a little bit there, a root ball there, some vines there, and then all that will be gone. Holy shit, sweat's pouring off me already, and I've been out here only five minutes. And here's another one that is about 10, 10 years old or so. Gonna go in the ground over here. That was a peach stump that I just burned out. That's the last Rosa Sharon root ball, the smallest one. Vines, pots. Lack of firewood to the max. And that last one in the pot over there is going to go right there. And then there will be a row. One, two, three. I got to get rid of that Rose of Sharon, but I don't know how. It's so... Uh, I don't know, I think if I just round it up close close to the root ball itself, it'll die. But one more rose of shell, one more mock orange tree here. All these rocks go all the way up to the end, came out of the ground where the pond was. But I'm getting cleaned up. It's taking me time because it's hard, but I'm doing it. And that's what's important. But the yard, my beautiful golden mew, my beautiful Japanese maple. Let's make it over to the pond. There's a giant stump in there and a whole bunch of dry branches and a whole bunch of green branches, but whatever, I'm going to get it going later on today. It's just too hot. I'm dripping right now. Here's my torch plant. It needs to be dug up and split. And here is the big mama mock orange tree. Every one of those little round balls is a mock orange and has about 15 seeds in it when it's fully mature. But here's the fish. There's a big catfish down there. Two catfish. You can't see them. Blue, blue catfish just went by. And the big albinos come in. But there's the fish. Beautiful. I love them. All right, I got to go in. I'm dying.